Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and welcome to the sixth Q&A session and we have got a, quite a few questions from you ranging from Xbox to SSDs to storage to uh, NAS. So let's get away with the same. And the first question is from Easy to Cool and he asks us, can you suggest a good but not expensive SSD? Planning to upgrade my PC. Thank you. Uh, the thing is that easy to cool you haven't mentioned me the capacity that you want for ssd because uh, the price of ssd uh, increases a lot based on the capacity but i am assuming you are on a tight budget uh, so you can check out this kingston uh, 64 gb ssd that's the v uh, plus 100 model that i had reviewed about six months ago just about a week ago i saw this ssd on flipkart and it was selling for about four just four thousand four hundred or something like that and i think so that's a good price for a 64 gb ssd next question is from uh ro5 ch4 channel 11 and he asked hey i'm going to buy my first smartphone should i buy galaxy note or wait for apple iphone 5 i'm a hardcore gamer and i need it for gaming are all uh, games compatible with the note the thing is that uh, you won't find uh, all the games compatible with the Note that's an Android device or all the games that run on the Android device to run on the iOS platform that's the iPhone so first decide which platform you want I would say that right now currently you'll find a little bit more games on the iOS platform so I hope that answers your question and the next question is from Dan Zims and he asks us I'm looking to use my Windows computer as a media center I would like to integrate all my music over a network in my home. My main concern is that I already have all my songs in iTunes on my Mac. My question is which media environment is more user friendly, setup wise, feature wise and all around experience wise. Thanks Ranjit, keep up the informative videos. Thank you. Uh, the thing is that uh, uh, I would suggest that instead of building a Windows based computer for just streaming all your content etc in your home, I would advise that you go for a NAS. It's much more easier to set up and maintain. And personally, I have been using a Synology NAS, that's the DS212J, now approximately for four or five months, and I'm delighted with the same. And it has this DLNA capabilities and also a built-in iTunes server. So I think so, that should suit you. And this uh, uh, Synology NAS will also work up as a backup. So check out my uh, Synology review, and that should be helpful for you. The next uh, uh, question is from Kotaku and he asks us when uh, the official ice cream sandwich update will be available for Samsung Galaxy S2 in India. My current mobile which is Galaxy S2 is rooted. Will root access uh, stay after the update or will it be restored to factory unrooted? Uh, the thing is that I have no idea when uh, Samsung India is going to launch the S2 update. Uh, if previous history is to go by, Samsung India is really slow to roll out updates. I have seen international updates to come at least about a month or two earlier and India is really slow in this department. So uh, Samsung India should be in a better position to answer this question when the ICS update for S2 will launch in India. But regarding your route, yes, if you update the official update of ICS by Samsung, uh, most probably your phone will be uh, unrooted. Your root privileges will go. The next question is from Crazy Bebo and he asks us, hello, first of all, I'm a big fan of you. Thank you. And I'm planning to get an iPad after my exam. Should I get the new iPad? That's iPad 3 or an iPad 2. I'm not interested with Android tablets due to lack of market apps and features. Even some people got some issues with overheating with the new pad. Please suggest. Uh, the thing is that uh, if you are in India, Apple right now hasn't launched the iPad 3, but I guess they should launch it soon. And I would say that go for the iPad 3 if you can afford it. it currently, the iPad 2 is selling at a discount. That is the cheapest version. That is the 16 GB Wi-Fi is currently selling for about 24,000. I think so when the iPad 3 launches, the uh, basic 16 GB Wi-Fi version will be around 30,000. So if you can afford that, go, definitely go for the iPad 3. And regarding this heating issues, yes. Uh, the iPad 3 runs a little hotter compared to iPad 2 but most, most of the heating issues what I have personally read on blogs and stuff is like when people were directly using it outdoors in sunlight. So if you're going to use this tablet indoors I don't think so the heating issues should matter. The next question comes from George Jacob and he says hi I'm using a 2 terabyte hard drive which is attached to my NAS but I'm afraid about all my huge amount of data getting lost due to hard drive failure. Please tell me how can I connect uh, some more hard disk in order to back up my data. So if one fails, the other takes care of 
of that data is there any other way to backup please advise me the best way to backup huge amount of data if possible do make a video regarding data backup uh, the thing is George you did not uh, mention me what kind of a NAS are you using is it a single bay NAS or what many uh, of the NAS even the single bay have a USB port at the back so you can attach an external hard drive to that and do a backup but I don't like that actually because uh, there is a point of failure I particularly like NAS which have at least two bays or preferably four bays so for example uh, let's say if you're on a tight budget go for a two bay NAS where you can populate two hard drives and you can configure the NAS in such a way that whenever a file is written it is automatically written to both the drive so even in a let's say a hard drive failure there's a very slim chance of both the hard drives failing at the same point so if even the one hard drive fails you will have all your data on the second hard drive so again uh, i would say if your nas supports something like this go for that otherwise i would say upgrade your nas i'm personally again using the synology nas which is a two bay nas and it's an excellent nas synology also makes four bay five bay nases so check that out and i hope this helps you the next question comes from Funkara and he asks, Hey Ranjit, I want to buy a portable hard drive, 500 GB. Which company is better? I used Toshiba and Western Digital. Both aren't working as plug and play and I have to connect it again and again. Funkara, uh, as you're uh, telling, after connecting your drive again and again to the USB port, sometime it's coming or not, then I would seriously uh, tell you to check the USB port on your computer or the connector that you're using because uh, either it shouldn't work at all or when it's uh, there is something wrong with the connector I personally again used Seagate and both Western digital drives and have no issues with the same I can't uh, say one is which one is better or not because none of them for me have personally failed till date and the next question is from S Prasad 10 he asks us please list the video calling apps that are supported in Blackberry playbook as well as Android phones and uh, I have heard rumors that Playbook uh, 2012 is launching. Is it true? Regarding video calling apps on this, that is the Playbook, uh, we don't have actually, I didn't find any third party apps that work with the Playbook. The only app that uh, video calling app that works with the uh, Playbook is the native one and that works only with other uh, Playbook devices. Regarding Android, you have plenty of video calling apps like Skype, uh, Quick, uh, etc uh, but playbook uh, video calling is an issue regarding the playbook 2012 yes i also heard about it but again these are rumors uh, the next question comes from srikant k nayar and he asks us uh, i have uh, seen a recent videos of yours about windows 8 is this uh, windows 8 developer preview trial or something in your video you said that it's not even a beta uh, uh, actually the windows 8 uh, uh, consumer preview that was launched just a month ago is actually a trial version it's going to expire sometime in 2013 it will work fine till that date uh, and again many of the people were installing it as official windows 8 installation and i wanted to say that it is not it is actually microsoft does not say it's a beta but it is a kind of a beta because this is not the final release the next question is from Chris and he asks us can I uh, RAID 0 my Corset GT and OCC Vertex 3 uh, these are SSDs I would uh, really appreciate if you could let me know by the way both are 120 GB SSDs but have different write speed uh, Chris to be really frank I have never used uh, RAID with the SSD I have used RAID 0 earlier uh, but they, those were with identical uh, normal uh, hard drives so i would ask uh, you guys if you have used raid on ssd and particularly uh, not the same make of ssds if you have done so please uh, answer that in the comments below i'll really appreciate the same and uh, the next question comes from sanket 311 and he asks us Hi Ranjit, I want to buy a new Android smartphone uh, between the price range of 15 to 20,000 but I'm quite confused that should I wait for the upcoming ICS update, uh, updated devices like uh, that from Sony or HTC or buy right now a proven smartphone like Samsung Galaxy S Plus which is a very good value of money. Please uh, help me. Uh, 
Sanket, uh, I would say that in this 15 to 20,000 range current phones, uh, first let me talk about the current phones that you can buy. I would say uh, you can check the Sony Neo V, that's approximately 17, 18,000. Uh, again, you have mentioned Galaxy S Plus. Uh, actually, I have personally used this phone quite some time. At, and it's a nice phone, I would say. But the problem is that Samsung hasn't mentioned uh, about ICS update for this phone. And so I'm assuming officially it won't get the ICS update. Again, I just recently reviewed this phone. It's a Motorola Atrix 2. It's a dual core phone and this phone is going to get the ICS update. And uh, I played around th with this phone quite some time. It's a very nice phone. So you can check that out. Again, if you want to wait, uh, again, yes, Sony and HTC are soon going to launch a few phones that will come with the ICS update. But again, I cannot speculate about products that haven't been released yet. The next question comes from Jroj1 and he asks, what is PAL in Xbox 360? Uh, have you seen the difference? Game series that are PAL or without PAL, please explain. The first thing I want to explain is the difference between PAL and NTSC. Generally, this PAL and NTSC used to be an issue in the olden days when we have we used to have those VHS tapes or something like that. So, for example, if we had those VHS uh, tapes that were of NTSC, that they won't uh, play on your PAL uh, uh, television. But uh, nowadays, with HD media and something, we actually do not have issues like that. And uh, if uh, you follow my videos recently, I purchased what do you say uh, the Xbox 360 in India and i also purchased this call of duty and i just noticed that the call of duty that what they are selling in india is ntsc and it works perfectly fine with me because the modern televisions that we have the high def televisions you can play anything pal ntsc etc and don't you will not have issues technically speaking pal is mostly seen in asian region and this ntsc is seen in uh, what do you say america north america and south america technically speaking the pal uh, video is encoded at 25 frames per second whereas ntsc is encoded in 30 frames per second but if you're using a modern high definition television you need not have to worry about ntsc and pal the next question comes from bharat kumar gupta and he asks us dear ranjit what do you advise using an ipad as an idea sketching tool compared to tablets like Wicom etc uh, which need a laptop or PC. I wish to know if iPad is a great tablet for casual sketching needs as I am an artist and I value tablets more than laptops which are heavy to carry and travel. What is your take on uh, this and thanks for reading my question. Bharat, uh, the thing is that I am not an artist and uh, I don't know if uh, you can accurately do finger sketching. I know a few people I've seen can do uh, even finger sketching on iPad and they, that's good. But personally, I feel a tablet like a Wicom or something or even uh, let's say this Galaxy Note that I'm using that has a stylus that they call S Pen would be easier for precise sketching. Again, I'm I, as I said, I'm not an artist, so I can't uh, uh, comment a lot on this, but I think so uh, if uh, it is very fine uh, sketching you want to do uh, something like uh, with a pen or a s pen stylus thing would be much more better than just using a finger to do sketching the last question is from gnd geek and he asks me is youtube your current job for living what you used to do before youtube uh, and i want to say that no, if you're thinking that I make uh, all my money and my living based on this YouTube videos, I'm sorry to say no, I'll starve to death if I do that. I actually spend a lot of time uh, with YouTube videos every day. I actually spend a couple of hours every day with YouTube videos, but this is not my daily bread earner or living like that. I would love to do this, but sadly, uh, I don't think so I can do it right now. Maybe in two or three years when I uh, have a lot of YouTube traffic, I might be able to just live on making this YouTube videos, but currently, you know, I do a, a lot of other works. And to be frank, I don't want to get into what I do personally for making my living because I don't think so. I need to share everything. And I just want to uh, say that I do uh, work and it's based with computers I work and I work very hard. My On a daily average, I work between 10 to 14 hours a day. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, so this was the sixth Q&A session if uh, I'll be doing the next Q&A session next Friday 
and if you like and if you would like that uh, I answer some of your tech questions please post them in the comment section below and start it with the Q&A tag so that I know that I need to include this uh, question in the next Q&A session I hope you found uh, this uh, Q&A session uh, interesting thanks for watching and if you liked this Q&A session please don't forget to hit the like button that's it for now this is Rangit from tech2bus.com and I hope to see you in my next video